North Carolina Prepper here. Um, a few days ago, we had a, uh, a solar flare come out and hit things. It's kind of a solar storm, and that can kind of equal like an EMP or the Carrington event back in the day. And I got to thinking, you know, I'm, I'm 500 miles out of town at the time this happened. I have things plugged in. I don't want these things to blow up in an EMP or a solar storm or flare or anything. So I got online and started looking for some things. <clears throat> and I want to protect my radio equipment. And I came across an article called Electromagnetic Pulse and the Amateur Radio. This is from a QST magazine. It's a ham radio magazine. 1986, pages 15 through 20 and 36. I'm going to include links to this article. This is just something I did. You know, you probably shouldn't do it. Um, you can Google the links that come down for information. I'm not going to include a diagram in this, but basically, here's my legal disclaimer. These circuits are provided for information only. This will operate from an un, un, uh, unisolated 120 volt mains. That means it plugs right in the wall. This could be dangerous. These products or this project could potentially kill or injure, injure someone, so don't build it. Do not build this. This is what I did. This is for me. It's not for you to build. You know, I have, you know, prior electronics knowledge experience, so I'm going to build them for me. But for you to understand this information only, it's assumed that you would have both a sufficient knowledge and skill. They're going to be assumed. I do not take any responsibility for personal injury or damage to property arising from the use or abuse of the information provided. This is something I built for myself and myself alone for my projects. That being said, <clears throat> EMP protection, lightning, solar storm, solar flare, coronal mass ejection. This will be the way to protect it when I'm in a hotel room, if I'm a laptop plugged in and I'm there because I may not have warning of an EMP. How would I know? A solar storm, hey, you know, I was out of town 500 miles away. That's the way it is. I just sat here and just hope it didn't get bad. So, here's the, the article I got and how to make it. Uh, I'll include the links at time of this, you know, just doing or building. These links are active, but you can Google them for the PDFs if not. Okay, what I'm going to be doing is building the power protector from part 4, page 34, Figure 15 of the QST November 1986, um, page 30 to 34 of Quest Magazine. Now, let me go over a few things here. The total cost of this project, each one, there's, there's enough parts here for three of them, but for right now, I'm just going to give you the cost to make one. Uh, the boxes caught at Lowe's cost me. Um, 96 cents each. The covers cost 65. The washers were 20 cents each. And the plug sockets were 60 cents each. So from Lowe's Hardware, it cost me $2.61. I couldn't find locally the mobs or the metal oxide baristers. These are the things they actually do the protection. They, they take this spike, uh, the voltage spike, and they self destruct. That's why we're putting them in metal boxes instead of plastic cheaper ones. That way, in case they get hot, or well, they will get hot. They will get hot in a, in a day. And they should go really quick and break apart and break the circuit. But I don't want any fire, so I'm putting it in the metal boxes. I had to go to Radio Shack for these because I didn't want to wait. I wanted it now. So I looked up the information from the article. I got online. I compared different uh, mobs and different clamping voltages, and etc. And I found comparable ones at Radio Shack. Uh, you can get them for about 50 cents each if you order them online. But I went with the more expensive ones. And I went with Radio Shack, which probably jacked it up a lot more. Um, so they came to 2 19 each. And I need three per project. I got the fuse holder. These are the mods, by the way. Different packaging, the same thing. I got the fuse holders. They're 2 19 Four pack of fuses, because fuses are very, very important. They came to 319. 
Now, I didn't buy a computer power cable because I already had one, and I got a lot laying around, but I checked the internet, and they're about three bucks on eBay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sacrificially cut that up. So basically, you're looking at about 15 bucks for every uh, solar storm protector, or EMP protector, or lightning. I'm going to build this. And these will self-destruct in, in an event and protect the equipment. I mean, <clears throat> if you're going to have a lot of money and equipment, you, you can spend 15 bucks. I mean, I can spend 15 bucks. You don't build this. It's not for you to build. No. But, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. Um, I built this for me. This is just for me. And I'm not gonna, I'm out of town. You know, if I have my tablet or something plugged in and something happens, boom. Now, I'll take this and I'll plug this into a surge protector. Because the more things in line, the more of like a shock absorber it will be. But these are basically in surge protectors, but they kind of like burn up when you use them or when there's a big event. You know, so that's that. All right, let me go ahead and start getting ready to assemble this and we'll see how we go.